All right, everybody, it's Ross. And what you're looking at here in front of you are the branches of a pawpaw tree. And these are trees I planted a long time ago. I mean, I planted these probably seven or so years ago at this point. And now that the trees are dormant, they've dropped their leaves, uh, the trees uh, are bare, I can see the buds very easily now. And you can see that these rounded buds are there and present along the branches. Actually, they're present all along the trees that I have. And actually, these represent the flowers for next year. So this means I should get a lot of fruit or a decent amount of fruit next season based on the buds that you can see and observe on your trees. Um, and you guys can do this as well. The rounded buds that you might see on the branches are the flowers. And the pointier buds that are a bit smaller, typically, um, are the buds that form new leaves and new branches. So it's really awesome, I think, now that it's been such a long time. This is a very shady spot. I think I have a mango down there, some other variety that we planted. Mango and like uh, PA Golden, maybe? Let's see, what does this say? Yeah, Pennsylvania Golden. So these are two varieties I'm definitely looking forward to trying as many pawpaws in the future as I possibly can. Who knows, I may even dig these up with me uh, or take them with me to my new farm. I don't know how much success I'm gonna have doing that. I hope I don't kill the trees. I may leave them here just because it's a more reliable spot and food source for them and just keep these here in the meantime while I start propagating others for my future orchard. But it's just nice, you know, to have the hard work that you put in and then nature kind of takes care of itself. Yeah, it took a long time. <laughs> it's, a, it's really a lot longer than pretty much any other fruit tree I've, I've, uh, I've grown to get something out of it. Other than the Che, you know, the, uh, although I haven't had the Che tree, C-H-E, for as long as I've had these pawpaws, but, you know, it's, it's all that more rewarding, I think, at this point to um, get the fruit uh, after so many years and hopefully be able to enjoy it. We did get some flowers this season, but the flowers, unfortunately, um, very few of them had set. When they did set, I saw very small baby pawpaw, and then we had a big windstorm that came in. And the wind, I think, blew off the pawpaws, and I was pretty upset about that. Because again, I've been waiting so long for these fruits. Um, and I imagine if you planted these guys, I have two trees in the same hole. I imagine if you planted them not like that, maybe you get fruit a little bit earlier. I imagine also if I planted them in, in full sun, because this is a very shady spot, which I originally thought is what they needed, that also it would be a little bit earlier. But um, yeah, looking at these trees now, it's, it's clear that there's a lot of flower buds on these trees. Um, I probably will limit the number of flowers potentially if, if uh, they don't end up thinning itself out. But, you know, maybe five to 10 pawpaw is pretty nice for these, these small trees. We'll see what they can do, I don't know. Um, see how much they can handle. I don't wanna overdo it. But at the same time, I wouldn't enjoy this awesome fruit. And again, there, you know, for anyone that doesn't know about a pawpaw, I hope you, you do if you're watching this video, but you know, these trees uh, produce something very similar to a banana, something similar maybe to, you know, that looks like kind of kind of like a mango, but it's, uh, you know, on the inside, it's more like a banana. And it's kind of like custard, vanilla custard, people call it, maybe like a pudding. Um, they make all kinds of nice desserts. You can eat them fresh. You know, they have bigger seeds in them, but... Um, Typically, if you graft certain varieties and you have varieties that um, have been bred for uh, the purposes that they were bred for, then you have a good flesh to pit ratio, this, or flesh to seed ratio, and that you won't have such large seeds, uh, or the seeds will be large, but the flesh will be, you know, high in quantity. So, I don't know, interesting. I'm glad I could catch this while I could, to catch it on film, to share it with you guys. I think you guys should obviously grow a pawpaw. They're a very good fruit, very underrated. Uh, well, actually, are they underrated? People go crazy for these things. Um, 
in a home orchard, it's hard to beat this tree. Yeah, it takes a while maybe to get the fruit, but that's with most of these fruit trees, guys. You know, maybe it takes really three to five, seven years to get something significant anyway. Uh, three years if you're lucky, depends on where you live, but you know, you gotta take the time anyway to do this. And to be honest, this is the, one of the easiest things to grow um, in terms of disease resistance, pest resistance, problem-free plants that also I think is pretty ornamental. And then the fruit, you can't get it anywhere. If you do, it's gonna cost you a bunch, very limited in quantity. Maybe you find them uh, at a park or something, but anyway, that's the pawpaws here I have. And I'm excited for these flowers. Grow some pawpaw, guys. We'll see you for the next video. Take care.